guys, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and today I'm going to share with you guys what we originally call cherry squares, but today we're going to be using my homemade apple pie filling to make these cherry squares. And I have to say, this is something that my mom used to make when I was a kid, and I absolutely love these. They are so delicious. And you can use any type of pie filling that you would like in this recipe. Um, cherry is usually what people go for, but I have used all kinds of pie filling. Uh, I made these years ago, and I haven't made them in a while, but whenever I did, I, I just used whatever I had on hand, whether it was cherry, blueberry was good, blackberry, um, strawberry is even delicious. Um, so anyhow, let's get to mixing this up, and I'm going to show you how we put these together. So in here, I have eight ounces of butter that's two sticks of butter and now we're going to add in our sugar you're going to add in you're going to put in a cup and a half of sugar And you want to go ahead and put your KitchenAid attachment on and go ahead and cream your sugar and your butter together. Now while the mixer is running, you want to add in four eggs. And I like to add them just one at a time to make sure that they mix well. And one more. You want to make sure that this gets good and combined. Next you want to add in two cups of all-purpose flour. And let me just scoot this back. And then you want to let the kitchen aid mix this all together. Okay, now once this gets uh, combined, I'm going to move my mixer out of the way and then I'll show you the next step of what we do to make these beautiful cherry squares. But in our case, it's going to be apple squares. Hey, excuse the fact that my uh, cookie sheet here is not very attractive, <laughs> but I just want to say you can use a sheet cake pan or I have always used, my mother has always used a cookie sheet, but you want to make sure that it has sides on it so that um, whenever your cake starts to bake up that, you know, it keeps its form. So my original recipe or the recipe that I have got does not say you need to spray your pan, but I'm going to spray it just a little bit. Um, the batter has quite a bit of butter in it, so you're probably not going to have to spray your pan too much. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the batter so you guys can see. It's kind of a, a thick consistency, see? It actually sticks almost like cookie dough a little bit. Um, so you want to go ahead and spread this evenly into your pan.
I'm trying to get all of it out of the mixing bowl so that um, it's easier to, you know, spread it. I'll spread this out. And this part's going to take a couple minutes to work your dough where, you know, it's spread evenly. Okay, I got the batter all spread into the pan. And I don't know if the camera actually picks it up, but because it's really thick, you want to take a butter knife. Now, my mom takes a ruler out, and she measures it to make sure she gets it even. But me, I don't have time to think about that. So, I just scored it with a butter knife. You can see there are squares scored off here. And what you want to do is you want to put your apple pie filling in the center of each one of these squares. So I'm going to get my pie filling. If you all have not caught my video on my at homemade apple pie filling, which I'll show you guys what that looks like. This is freezer apple pie filling. And it keeps up to a year in the refrigerator and it is super, super delicious. So um, that is why I want to share this recipe with you guys because if you have the freezer, um, apple pie filling on hand you can use this in this recipe as well as my apple crisp recipe which um, I will link all of those videos down below so you guys can uh, watch those if you haven't so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a little bit of my pie filling in the center of each one of these squares just like that and I cut my apples up just a little bit smaller after they um, thawed just to make sure that, you know, they weren't too big to put on here. So I'm just putting a little bit of apple right in the center of each one. Now, meanwhile, your oven should be preheating to 350 degrees. We got one more square. And you can make these bigger or smaller or how, whatever size that you want needs to go into a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes and I'll be back to show you what it looks like okay I just pulled these out of the oven and you're gonna let them cool completely then we're gonna cut them where the uh, apple pie filling is in the center and then we are going to dust them with some powdered sugar and make them pretty. Okay, my squares are cooled and I cut them and I wanted to show you guys what they look like. You cut them like this with the pie filling in the center and then you dust them with a bit of powdered sugar and you can serve them with ice cream or have them just like that. And this is my pan. They are delicious and simple. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so and give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you all have a blessed Sunday. Talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.